up, everybody? Welcome back to an all-new episode of Conflicts. Today, we'll be looking at, essentially, an accessory to the ultimate humanoid robot, a.k.a. Optimus Prime. Now, this here is the trailer kit by Robus, and essentially an accessory to this robot, a line to go ahead and work side-by-side -side and even transform with it. Now, this features a roller, spike, and a turret in which you can go ahead and transform into a maintenance base, a battle station, as well as a variety of other features such as controlling a roller with an RC app integration. Now overall it sounds really cool on paper but together we'll be unboxing and seeing exactly how it plays out as these two work seemingly together. So if you guys wanted your own, check out the link down below in the description and without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. This here is our packaging, uh, this here is our box. Overall, really cool, kind of shows a blueprint of it, kind of here. And then as you kind of rotate, it does show it on the other side, as well as the back, and that's about it. So let's open it up and see what's inside. <laughs> All right, so check it out. So we have this lovely looking packaging here. Now it says Optimus Prime trailer kit, transformers. Then again, has a blueprint essentially in the battle station. Uh, and you do also see Spike here as well. Now this is licensed by Hasbro and it features over 18 servos, which is absolutely mind blowing. So you do get a lovely looking portable case. Now this is made out of like a, almost like a styrofoam kind of material, but it does also house a Transformers logo here on the front. Oh, 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 oh. oh my God, check it out. That is absolutely cool. It's a, almost the same exact metallic silver as our uh, Optimus Prime here, and uh, looks like we have a few different accessories. So we have ourselves an AC adapter. This here's a 12.6 volt adapter, and then we have a USB-C cable. On the top here, we have ourselves a quick start guide. Optimus Prime. I later used the trailer to help the Autobots with a battle in the Arctic. My equipment, along with the roller, managed to damage Skywarp stabilizers, causing him to crash into Thundercracker in midair, taking out both Seekers. So a little bit of history on the particular trailer kit. Now this here's gonna be a quick start guide, kind of shows you how to go ahead and step, turn it on. Uh, our charging port, tail lights, uh, and then in terms of connecting roller, as well as talks about a little bit more in terms of spike, so uh, spike wiki, and then in terms of launching the app and how you go ahead and connect Optimus Prime. <laughs> Sweet. Uh, looks really cool. Definitely interesting in style here. Uh, so you do have, looks like six wheels. It has a hood that pops open. You can see the engine in there. On the back side here, you can see it kind of flap open. This will have to do with the transforming state. And overall, it looks pretty promising. Uh, and then we have ourselves Spike. Look at this little guy. So he can actually sit in here. Uh, he's got a magnet on him. So it's like magnetically attaches to whichever uh, device that you're trying to connect it to there. And let's go ahead and take this thing out. Try not damaging it. That's the most important thing, right? Okay. All right. <laughs> yeah, Optimus is ready. So this here's our trailer kit. Uh, looks cool. You do have the same metallic color finish to it. And as you kind of rotate it about, it does kind of open up a little bit. So you just gotta be careful while you're handling it. It does look pretty promising. You have, let's say a power port and your USB-C cable port. Uh, and then your power button is gonna be on this side right over here. So that's our on button. Power this thing on by holding this button here for a few seconds. One, two, three, four, five. The Transformers! More than meets the eye! The Transformers! All right, I guess it's on now. So we're gonna go ahead and turn on our roller. It actually makes the sounds from the Transformers. All right, so check it out. So this here's everything that we get. So we get our trailer kit, we get a ramp, these small little ramps to go ahead and put at the bottom so our uh, roller can get off easily. Uh, we have our spike character as well as our roller and then obviously our Optimus Prime. Now, uh, what we're gonna do now is connect it via the app. So I'm gonna click on Bluetooth Connect and right now you can see that it does showcase all three uh, robots right there. So I'm gonna go ahead and connect it to our trailer first. All right. And then we we'll connect to our Optimus next. Connection complete. And then lastly, we'll connect to our roller. 
All right, now that everything's connected, uh, this here is our main hub. So since this is still technically new in the, the development phase, we only have access under remote control for all these different pieces. So under remote control, you'll see two different sets of uh, actions, one for our Optimus Prime, and then one for our trailer kit. Now with Optimus Prime here, you can just control them as you normally do. So you can have them walk around, uh, you can have them transform, you can have them do actions, uh, just based on what you're trying to do. Which is cool. Now uh, on the right side here, which is really interesting, is our trailer kit. Now, uh, right now we're kind of in this stationary set. Now we can actually have Optimus carry our uh, trailer set, uh, in which the way we do that is first we'll transform our Optimus into a vehicle state. The way you do this is on the back side here, you'll see these two little notches. Uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna lift up our trailer kit and then we're gonna go ahead and just kinda snap in these legs like this. And then over here you'll see essentially like a pivot uh, with two pins. So just go ahead and place that on there like this. There we are. And now we can control our uh, Optimus Prime with our trailer kit. So if I hit back, you'll see that it moves back, hit forward. Let's roll. So you can control it about, obviously we're in limited space, but it is pretty cool that you can do that. Um, I can hit open the rear gate, so I'll press that the doors will open. Now, traditionally speaking, you can go ahead and store our roller inside here just like this. And then what you would do is open up our miniature ramp and place that here. It does magnetically attach. And now we can drive off our roller. So if I use the right button here, I can move forward. Just like that. <laughs> so that's cool that you can control him. Now, uh, besides that, you can actually move our uh, roller around so I can spin them around, I can uh, drive them back and forth, etc. So that's kind of neat that it does give you that option to control roller. Now, roller has the capability to actually even uh, carry the weight of our particular trailer set so you can move them about and essentially drive both vehicles at once. I'm just going to remove this. All right, now I can close the gate. There we are. And uh, let's see this thing transform. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna quickly just essentially detach our trailer set like this. And uh, if I press this button here, this will bring out our side uh, hydraulic arms. There we are. So that essentially lifts up our trailer set. So I can hit battle mode or I can hit maintenance mode. So this will open the top. Now this here is essentially our battle mode. So you can just see the playing field here. There's actually a lot going on. Uh, so you have a few different compartments where our character can sit. So Spike can sit over here, sit over here, or he can actually sit in the turret. So just go and open that up and then it'll magnetically attach inside there. Uh, so just go and slide them in, boom, and then close that up. Now we can raise up our turret by pressing this button here. <laughs> and then we can have it rotate. Now it does have its own little robotic arm right there as well as essentially like a tool. So you can go ahead and control it about if necessary. So put that back in. And uh, we put that back down. And then we can even close it up too. Now another thing we can do is essentially create a maintenance mode. So if I press this button here, <laughs> you can see that. How cool is that? So this here essentially is our maintenance area, uh, allowing us to go ahead and put Optimus in front of it and essentially maintain it. Now we can also uh, expand our turret, just like this. You can see that. There we are. And then we can have it rotate too. That is pretty wicked. So ideally, the way you would display this is like that and then uh, take our Optimus and transform it. And then you display it in front of there like this. So pretty cool stuff. And then uh, if you bring down our turret, we can control the different robotic parts here and like work on our Optimus Prime based on 
uh, whatever we want it to do. So it looks cool overall. Now it has another feature where if I hit all, it'll automatically transform both uh, robots at once. Hit OK. And just like that, we can go ahead and roll out. All right, so we're gonna do a quick little run here to see how Optimus handles with the trailer connected to it. Uh, so let's move forward. We can turn. All right, so, I mean, it's a little hard to control, but I mean, it is actually pulling its weight, which is cool. So that's actually pretty good. So overall, a really, really cool design concept. Uh, I particularly am a big fan of it, the fact that you can go ahead and use them both simultaneously and they kind of essentially aid each other, which is really cool. Now, the other thing that I didn't show is that you can actually move this using our uh, roller. So let's go ahead and lift this panel up here and then you find those two little notches again. So there we are. And then we're gonna click on the button here on the bottom right. This will essentially change it into a carrying state. So I can move both of them like this <laughs> at the same time. So that's actually pretty cool that you can control both robots uh, and use them simultaneously. So overall, a really cool design concept. Now, Robeson definitely upped it up and essentially created a lovely aid that associates with Optimus Prime. Now, if you do own this robot or if you're planning on buying this robot, this here is a perfect companion with it, mainly because of the fact that they are designed and they work seamlessly together. Now, with that said, if you guys had any questions about this, feel free to comment down below. Otherwise, see you guys next time. Take care now, bye-bye.